So if you're like most of the population, then there's a good chance that you're not using a password manager. Perhaps you're a bit skeptical. I mean, letting something manage your password sounds a little bit risky, doesn't it? Or maybe you think they're overrated. You can remember all your passwords, so what's the point in having some service remembering them for you? So do you really need a password manager? Well, to answer that, let's take a step backwards. Whenever you set up a user account on any given website, you have to pair that username with a password. And for most people, that password or a slight variation of it ends up being used over and over again for different user accounts on different website logins. This makes some sense because if you're using a completely different password for every single user account you log into, then surely there's a high chance you're not gonna remember at least some of them. Now we all know what a hacker is. It's kind of an old word, but the scary thing is they're constantly on the lookout for ways to take your passwords from you so that they can steal your account information. And they don't just use one method of getting your passwords either. So whether it be by hacking the originating website or by using programs to guess your passwords, or perhaps most common by sending you emails claiming to be from authentic websites. And these can sometimes look so convincing that they actually trick you into entering your password for them. Whatever the method, the amount of information that is being breached via hacking each year is actually staggering. Get this, in January of this year alone, over 1.7 billion accounts had been leaked in one way or another. And so for those of us that use the same password for multiple accounts, this spells bad news because we're at a much higher risk of having not just one account breached, but any that use that same password. Now you could of course just create a completely different password for every single website that you log into. But if you like most people using the internet these days, then you probably have far too many accounts to keep track of which password is being used where, let alone keeping a track of each and every password in and of themselves. And that's why a password manager is so helpful. Not only do they keep you safe and secure while browsing the web, they also do all of the heavy lifting for you. Now, the password manager that I use is called Dashlane. And before I continue, I do have to let you know that Dashlane are sponsoring this video. So take that for what it is. But regardless of that, everything I'm saying is still 100% my opinion. So what makes a password manager like Dashlane great is that not only does it securely store your account information for you, but it then actually automatically fills in any login information for any website or application that you use. So this means you don't have to ever worry about remembering or even typing in any username, password or personal info ever again. Now, not only is it the best way to store account information, but it's also by far the safest. So Dashlane uses patented security architecture, and this means that no one but you can see your passwords. They don't get sent to Dashlane, they're not stored on their servers. And so even if in the very unlikely event, somehow Dashlane itself got hacked, then your passwords and all your information is still very safe and secure. Now, what about if a website you log into gets hacked? Well, Dashlane has that covered too. It will actually warn you if there's been some sort of a security breach on any of the accounts you log into. And this means you can jump in straight away and fix it before anything gets out of hand. All of this information is stored behind one master password that you create. And again, this is never sent to Dashlane and it's not stored on their servers. And if you're using the app, you can even use your fingerprint or face ID for an even more convenient user experience. Now, initially Dashlane would just store all of your existing passwords, but as time goes on, you can keep an eye on the identity dashboard, which will give you an overall score based on how safe and secure your current passwords are. Depending on what this score is at, Dashlane will give you suggestions if it thinks your passwords are weak or reused and perhaps worth changing. And then if you wanna take your security to another level altogether, then you can use Dashlane to automatically generate and store secure passwords for you, making your accounts virtually unhackable. They've even got their own VPN and dark web monitoring service all integrated for you. And this will up your security even further and allow you to browse the internet securely and access content in any country. Now, the best part by far and away is that Dashlane is actually free. So there's no real reason not to use it or at the very least to try it out. You can always just decide that it's not for you, but my guess is that you'll quickly wish you'd started using it long ago. Now, if you do start using it and decide that you want access to all of the premium features, then you can actually try it at no cost for 30 days by visiting dashlane.com slash Sam Beckman. And if you wanna keep using it, then you can use the code Sam Beckman at checkout to get a crazy 50% off. For me, using a password manager is an absolute must. And in a day and age where internet security is hard to come by, spending just a little bit of effort in setting up a password manager will definitely help you out in the long run. Aside from that, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later.